You guys are tucked away in a bag right now. I don't even know if you can hear me because the mic is covered, but <laughs> we'll see how this goes. For the very first time since I got my van, me and Eliza find ourselves in the middle of a snowstorm. It's actually snowing pretty hard right now. In the past, I have never gone to the snow. I didn't have a heater in my van for the first two years, and I honestly didn't. I'm covering you guys. We actually came out here with our friend Alexandra, who's in that rig right there. So hopefully if uh, we get stuck, she can tow me out. What do you think? Eliza is loving this. Eliza Taylor! <laughs> Go suck my baby! Go suck my baby! It's definitely time to go inside. It doesn't seem like the snow is going to stop anytime soon. This is kind of crazy. Right now my biggest struggle is keeping my van from getting sopping wet. The good news is this is likely the cleanest my floors are ever going to be because I'm spending so much time drying them. The craziest thing about this whole situation is that this entire place transformed overnight. When we got here a few days ago, the sun was shining. There was no bad weather. It was perfect. And the snow really only started in the evening last night, and I definitely wasn't expecting it to be quite as much of a flurry as it is. There is a giant iceberg going down my window right now. And honestly, despite the fact that I do have a heater, which hopefully it keeps running smoothly. I'm not very prepared for this storm, or rather I'm not prepared for what it might look like to have to get out of here. The sun actually just came out, so I think I'm going to climb my ladder in the back and try not to kill myself while I brush off the five inches of snow that are on my solar panels. Oh my gosh, I wish I had gloves. Not gonna lie, it is extremely slippery up here and I'm a little scared. <laughs> my hands. Look at my hands. I did not die cleaning my solar panels. Woohoo! Count that as a win. What do you think about all the snow? What do you think about it? I'd like to extend a huge thank you to Wondershare Filmora for sponsoring today's video. They are an intuitive video editing software company that has been empowering millions of video creatives around the world since 2015. I remember when I was editing my very first YouTube video almost three years ago and I was really stressed out and frustrated because I knew how steep of a learning curve it was going to be to make quality videos with the software I'd chosen and I really wish that I'd known about Filmora back then. I discovered this product just a little while ago and it has completely changed the way I do business because of just how easy and intuitive the software is. And if you are new to editing or want to cut down your editing time or want to focus on growing your online business, then this product is one I definitely recommend checking out. I've been using Filmora 13 and it has many features, especially the AI features that really set this platform apart from any others that I've seen. I really enjoy syncing music with my storytelling and the AI audio stretch feature allows you to extend a song that might otherwise be too short to fit your scene. Silence detection automatically identifies those awkward pauses or those areas where you kind of forget what you wanted to say so that you can easily remove them. Text-based editing allows you to easily navigate your talking segments so if I say like or um or like or um too many times I can easily capture those with that and immediately remove them. There is currently a Filmora 13 preheat, Grow with Filmora, where you guys could win a one-year free license to Filmora 13, promotion of your content, a $500 content creation fund, and partnership opportunities simply by submitting your videos. All of the information regarding this product and the Filmora 13 preheat will be available down in the description box below, so make sure you check that out. Thank you so much to Wondershare Filmora for sponsoring today's video, and with that, let's get on to the rest. 
Alex just texted me and said that she is going to try to drive out of here just so that we can make some tracks in case it keeps snowing for days. We have been following the weather forecast and we can't find more accurate information for where we are. So I think that this is a good call. She has four wheel drive, so hopefully she'll just be able to pave away and that will encourage the snow to melt because hopefully we're beyond the worst part of the blizzard. Hopefully I don't get stuck because that would be, that would be the worst. <laughs> Well, that was annoyingly easy for her. <laughs> she didn't even put her truck in four wheel drive. She just rode it up in two wheel drive. No problem at all. Piece of cake. <sighs> it's just a little bit funny because I know that my van would not do that. <laughs> I just have a feeling my van would just slip and slide the entire way up. So the fact that it's this easy for her <sighs> makes me want to get a truck camper a little bit. Ah! <laughs> She's trying to run me over. Oh my god. It is currently 2 p.m. and it is still blizzarding outside. I'm still really happy to be here, but the more that it snows, the more nervous I get about getting out of here. If you guys watch this channel, you'll know my van has already been having problems and it's 2WD front wheel drive. So I'm a little worried about those spots that are over a foot deep. The girl that I'm with, Alexandria, is super confident. She says that she'll give me a tow if I need it and she has traction boards so I could dig my way out of here, but we are more than two miles down a road that definitely never gets plowed. So I think this is a lesson in enjoying the present moment and not worrying too much about future matter because I know that no matter what, I will get out of here. It's just a matter of when and how difficult things get before that time comes. For now, I'm really hungry, so I think I'm gonna make some soup. I haven't been feeling the urge to cook lately, so when I do, I like to make a really big batch so that I can eat for at least a few meals. It's really hard to do any meal prepping when you're living in a van, so this is kind of the best that I can do. Ever wondered how to not cry when chopping an onion? Cut it in half so that you still have the root tip. Keep the root side on, but cut off this tip. Peel off the outermost layer. Cut some horizontal lines this way. Two or three is fine. Then cut some vertical lines. And lastly, cut this way. You will have perfectly minced onions every single time without crying, and if you don't want them to be minced, you can just do thinner slices when you're going horizontal or skip the last step, whichever kind of shape you want. The plan here is to cook these way down. I want these caramelized, so I am going to chop up all of my other vegetables, get everything else ready, and I'll probably still wait like 15 minutes after that because the more you cook these, the better they'll taste, the more caramelized and sweet they'll taste, and that's what I really want for this soup. These are now really nice and brown and caramely, so I am going to put these in a separate little dish so that I can saute all of the other veggies in the same pan. Put in a little garlic powder. This is some ginger and some red pepper flakes as well, and plenty of salt. 
I'm putting the sweet potatoes and the carrots in first just because they'll take the most time, but pretty shortly thereafter I'll add the potatoes as well. And honestly I'll probably add the butternut squash too because pretty much all of these will cook at the same rate. I'm actually going to move the vegetables to a back burner because <laughs> that one's always tricky because I also want to saute some tempeh and I also think some mushrooms separately so I can get a really nice brown on these before I add them to the soup. I remember when I first tried tempeh I thought it was super gross and I didn't eat it again for years but now I'm absolutely obsessed with this stuff and if you are someone who does not like tempeh then soup is a really good place to add a bunch of fiber and protein in a way that I think is maybe less intense as just tempeh on its own. My favorite way to eat this is to crumble it with garlic powder and salt and plenty of olive oil and it's so good. Last veg is the zucchini. Booyah, baby. And now this is our soup base. And if we need to add more miso, we'll just repeat this step. That should be most of what we add to our soup. However, I do have some of this garlic stuffed olive juice left over. And sometimes I will just add the tiniest little bit to my soups. It just heightens the salt content and adds a nice richness. And as long as you don't add too much, it's never overly flavorful or anything like that. I might also add a little bit of almond or oat milk to this just to make the color a little bit creamier looking. It won't necessarily add that much to the flavor because almond milk and oat milk are pretty thin. I'm gonna let this go to a boil, reduce to simmer, and then cover it with a lid for 10 to 15 minutes. Honestly, the longer you leave it, the better it'll taste. And I also have a bunch of sourdough bread that I am going to saute on the side. I'm so excited, I haven't eaten a lot today. I am about to eat a lot of this. <laughs> Soup is officially simmering and I think that Alexandria is going to walk over and join me. Actually, I think she's going to run over. It has been snowing pretty on and off, but mostly on for a full 24 hours now and it is currently blizzarding again. <laughs> Welcome. <Did> you... <gasps> what just happened to you? Did you hear that noise? Yeah. Did you just bang your head? <laughs> yeah, I hit my head on the bike rack. Are you okay? I'm totally fine. It just caught me by surprise. Be my girl, my girl. <laughs> it's just stuck in your head, huh? It is. Sorry, I just talked to you. I'm looking at your dog. And... You're not really helping me that much, but I, I appreciate your effort. Yeah. Thanks, babes. Thank you. Can you I'm sitting on your tail right now. Do you want to just move a little bit more? I hope it's yummy. This looks so you really like food pot though, and drink stock. Mmm. This is perfect. It's really nice. It's really, really nice. Oh, it's perfect for this weather. Thank you so much. You're so welcome. I'm glad that you're having some. <laughs> Alex and I finished up dinner and then naturally something bad had to happen. I honestly don't think I can go a week anymore without something going terribly wrong with my van. I am in 20 degree weather right now and my heater just broke. So that's cool. I actually do know what's wrong with it. It's a glow plug. It's something that I've replaced in this heater before, but I didn't think that it was so temperamental that I should buy two or three or maybe even four of them just in case and of course i don't have an extra glow plug on hand and it's something that i need to ship and i hope that we can stay warm enough tonight i think what i'm going to do is get my oven going and make some cinnamon buns to try to heat up the van and also have a nice treat to comfort myself because <sighs>
The water is so cold and dark and black and I don't think I'm going to be standing up much on my paddleboard today. Plus, you guys are out here with me, so that just adds a little extra danger to the situation. <laughs> we woke up this morning and it's a beautiful day. It's almost as if the storm didn't happen until you see all the snow. That being said, the sun is out and all the snow is melting so quickly. I find myself startling kind of easily because I keep hearing it in the distance and it's quite loud when the snow falls off the trees. Last night actually wasn't so bad. I actually have to go back to Ben to pick up my new glow plug so I can get my heater running again. And it's actually supposed to be colder there at night than it is out here. So I think what we're going to do is just stay here for a few more days and see how much the sun can melt all this snow because the more that it melts, the easier it'll be for me to get out of here. Although I wonder if that's true because if the snow all melts, it might just get kind of muddy, which could also be difficult for me. So who's really to say? For now, I'm sticking to what I said last night. I'm enjoying this present moment, <laughs> making it do and worrying about that at a later time. <laughs> Alexandria and I have the entire lake to ourselves. It's a total winter wonderland. So I'm really grateful, even though I'm anticipating that it's going to be really hard to get out of here. We also got another four inches of snow last night. Hi, baby. Hi. Good morning. We have decided that we're going to try to leave today. This little hill is definitely what I'm most worried about. For a Toyota or people with four wheel drive, it's no big deal. But for my 2WD front wheel drive with transmission issues, I'm a little nervous. Nervous is honestly an understatement. I feel a mild panic attack coming, but I feel like no matter what, that's how it's going to feel trying to get out of here. The good news is even though the sun's not out, the conditions are stable. The lake is super glassy and clear. There's no wind to contend with, and I'm definitely grateful for that. It helps that Alexandria is feeling really confident and she's had a lot of experience driving on the snow when I haven't had any at all. But there's really nothing left to do except for see how it goes and handling it from there. My van is also a complete mess because my stand-up paddleboard cannot be put away because it's all sopping wet. <laughs> you got this. Sounds great. When I first tried, it really seemed like I had it and both of us got really excited. But my van has been doing this really fun and awful thing lately where it loses power as I'm trying to go up a hill. So I could never get enough momentum to get over before I started sliding in the snow. I tried three times before I asked Alexandria if she wanted to give it a go and she tried it four times and on the fourth try, she actually managed to get my van out. And naturally, my camera ran out of storage so I didn't film that Alexandria actually got us out. Hopefully the rest of the way is smooth. Look at that. Look at how easy it was for her. Buy a Toyota. This is an ad for Toyota. That should hopefully have been the hardest part by far, but I'm just gonna take the rest of this really slow and easy. And I'm hoping that it'll be fine. I'm so grateful for Alexandria for being stubborn as hell and getting us out of there. We'll see. We made it to the highway. I don't know if I breathed the entire time, but I'm just so happy. Whew. We're stopped at this pull out. It's actually a really pretty view of the mountains. And Alexandria is going to book an Airbnb for us for the next two nights. Outside of the fact that we were, you know, kind of stuck there. And thankfully, Alexandria's stubbornness got us through. We are really low on power. My van doesn't have heat and it's just as cold in Bend right now as it is up here. So we are going to enjoy a couple cozy nights in a house with heating, with plumbing, with a real kitchen. And I could not be more excited. This video is also supposed to go out tomorrow and I am only halfway through editing. So I will be up for the next 15 hours editing this video. <laughs> but otherwise, I'm gonna end this video here. Thank you guys so much for watching. This was a wild ride. I will see you guys in next week's video. Take care of yourselves, stay warm out there and see you on the other side. Yes, I am wearing the same outfit two days in a row. What's it to ya? My little Nogeta, she is the real star. Hello, is that working?
This is the real star of the YouTube channel and we all know it. My plants are alive this morning. Oh, I think we have to go inside. This is too much for you guys. Ah! Ah! <laughs> I feel like Tara. <laughs> It is lit. <laughs> she knows it. I know it. You guys know it.